another video here in the classroom again because I don't want to drag all this stuff out in the woods for a backdrop but I had a lot of questions lately about what books do I recommend and that sort of thing and I've shot this same video in the past so you know I've been trying to answer those folks and direct them to that video but you know a lot of time has gone by since then and I've plussed up a little bit I gained quite a few new books uh, read a bunch gave some away uh, gifted the students and what have you so things have changed a little bit uh, not to mention I just ordered four new books that I should have uh, sometime this week so after we do this video maybe I'll shoot another update and I'll talk about the four new books as well but this is what I have as of now uh, again there's some books here that that I don't have any longer because I gave them away but figured I'd just run you through these talk a little bit about each and what I think of them so starting over here in the corner uh, this is just a pretty good sized binder that I put together <clears throat> still got a Pathfinder logo thing there affiliate because that's what inspired me to do this so basically this binder is research I've done on Nesmic and it was probably a solid year's worth of research as much as I could find on the man and I, I've put that all into this binder and I'll try to give you a close-up here in a second but uh, it's pretty pretty thorough and I was planning on shooting a video series inspired by Nesmic so you can see how thick that is there so quite a bit of research uh, I haven't done that series because I wanted to do it justice and I, and I think it's going to be pretty time consuming uh, and with my limited time with my full-time job and what have you I didn't want to jump around and you know have long periods in between those videos so that's probably still coming in the future um, I'm just holding off on, until I have time to dedicate to something like that. But I'll uh, give you a quick close up here. So again, pretty thick binder and it's pretty well full. All the pages you see here have uh, the research I've done in them. So it's probably not that thick. So there's a couple, I don't know, four or five sheets maybe at the end that are empty. but. Again, that's all the uh, research I've done on Nesmic and what I could find. Moving on from that, uh, this whole stack of books here is new to me. And I've thumbed through quite a bit of it, but I haven't taken the time to, to read it thoroughly. Uh, it's a ton of information. And what this is, is basically all the student handouts and or student books that Tim Smith has written or put together over the years uh, it's all his student handbooks so uh, this one happens to be first person ecology it's, uh, student training handouts And then I've got several binders here that get into specific topics. There's four binders here, all pretty thick. So this first one is a section B, covers nutrition, nature study. Uh, the next one is D through F, it's bushcraft, outdoor education, environmental education. G and H, uh, wilderness medicine and canoeing. And I through K is hunting, fishing, trapping, crafting, and map making. So a ton of information here, obviously. And again, I'd be lying to you if I told you I wrote it all because I haven't. So uh, I've thumbed through a good bit of it, but I'm kind of saving that. I, again, when I have time to, to dedicate solely to that, I'll go ahead and do that. So moving on, these regular books, uh, some are topic specific, uh, a lot of them are actually. Some are pretty comprehensive guides and that sort of thing. I have three that are story line type books. 
uh, some medicine books, some kit building books, and that sort of stuff. So uh, moving along in order here, I've got three fairly new ones, uh, and these aren't you know the type you read cover to cover necessarily. Um, these two specifically here deal with uh, Maine and Maine's waterways uh, from quiet water to you know all their rivers and streams and that sort of thing. And basically this is just a guide, uh, pretty comprehensive. It tells you you know where to put in on certain places, how to find them, uh, skill level of the water if you will for white water uh, and the same for the quiet water one which is more your lakes and ponds and stuff like that. But uh, again, pretty comprehensive uh, in detail, put-ins, takeouts, uh, the length of time it would take you to cover that particular trip and so forth. So uh, these are just Appalachian Mountain Club books. Uh, this one's edited by John Fisk. This one, Alex Wilson and John Hayes. But uh, pretty good books. Again, haven't read them cover to cover, but I've thumbed through them just checking out some of the waterways in Maine uh, so I can plan some of my canoe trips, obviously. Third one, the Allagash Guide. This is by a master Maine guide, Gil, uh, Gil Patrick. Uh, this is a really good book. And basically, he covers uh, a bunch of different things on trips he's done. A lot in here to do with meal plans and that sort of thing. Uh, how to pack it, how he specifically packed it, and the order he did things. So there's lists in here as well on when he prepared for one of his trips, how he would pack it up so he made sure he had everything with checklists and the whole bit. So I, I've read this one cover to cover and, and have thumbed through it quite a bit. <clears throat> Moving down here, it's a couple books. Uh, this top one was gifted to me by my buddy Tim Smith, Jack Mountain. Uh, the Woods Cook, this is one that he's written. Uh, I've read some of this, not all of it. Uh, and Tim's just, uh, you know, a wealth of knowledge and a good writer, well-spoken the whole bit. Obviously, he's educated, master's degree in the whole bit. So, you know, he's pretty solid in what he does. Uh, but good book. My wife has actually picked this up quite a bit as well, going through some of the... Uh, some of the different meals and so on. So a good book. The next one is a guide to canning, freezing, curing, smoking, meat, fish, and game. Uh, and again, this is one I, I've only thumbed through, but a pretty good book. A uh, lot, of, lot of information on that one actually. And uh, you know, I just that's something I refer back to, not read cover to cover necessarily. <clears throat> So this whole column here, we're getting into to plants and that type of thing. Uh, this first one is Ancestral Plants by Arthur Hayes. Haynes, I'm sorry. So he does a lot with the Maine Primitive Skills School. Most of you probably know him. Uh, this book, obviously, a uh, very good book. Uh, Arthur's no slouch when it comes to plants, that's for sure. So uh, colored pictures, the whole bit. He goes into some pretty good detail about different plants and that sort of thing, uh, using them as medicine and so on. This is volume one, so there are others. Uh, and the foreword was written by Mike Douglas, who owns the Maine Primitive Skills School. So definitely a good book there. Uh, again, thumb through it. Haven't read it cover to cover. It's just something that I refer back to. Book on mushrooms, molds, and miracles. I, I haven't even opened this one to be honest with you. This was gifted to me by a student recently, so haven't even opened that one, but have it. Couple Peterson's field guides. Probably most of you are familiar with these. So medicinal plants and herbs, venomous animals, and poisonous plants. Uh, pretty good books. I've used these pretty extensively uh, through my journey here, uh, more so the medicinal plants and herbs. But uh, again, not something I read cover to cover, just kind of refer back to uh, talking about plants again. Uh, haven't had that one for several years. I heard of this one, which is the Forester's Harvest, uh, Forage's Harvest, excuse me, Edible Wild Plants. And 
So I picked this up and after going through this one numerous times again, not a cover to cover book, but something to refer back to, I found this one to be, at least for me, more helpful than the Peterson's Field Guides. It goes a little bit more in depth uh, on specific plants and that sort of thing. So very good book. I would recommend this one probably over the Peterson's, uh, though they're both good books. <clears throat> These two huge books here, again, not something you read cover to cover. Uh, these are by Matthew Wood, the Book of Herbal Wisdom, and the Earthwise uh, Herbal there. Just absolute ton of knowledge in these books. Very, very in-depth. Probably the most in-depth I've ever seen. Uh, and the way he breaks it down, you know, much like these other books I just talked about, is, you know, specific plant, where to find it, where it grows, seasons, all that stuff. But then he breaks down even further what parts of the plants to use. He gets into dosages, uh, as, you know, for medicine and stuff like that. The, almost, you almost need to be a chemist, you know, if you're doing something like this. But uh, tons of information, like I said, uh, very, very in-depth uh, if you're into herbalism and that type of thing. And again, just something I refer back to when need be. But... Uh, excellent books there for sure so the next row is kind of a mix here uh, the axe book the lore and Sci uh, science of the wood cutter by D cook a pretty comprehensive book on axes it, it covers a bunch of different stuff from uh, different style axe heads what they do different types of axes and their purposes to types of woods and uh, the list goes on how to hang an axe talks about handles specifically I've read this one cover to cover uh, definitely a good book uh, when it comes to axes uh, and axemanship and so on and again it even adds in you know different woods and their properties and, and what they can do for you so a uh, pretty solid book right there one that many of you may be familiar with another one Wildwood Wisdom by Ellsworth Jaeger Again, pretty comprehensive book. Uh, he covers a wide variety of topics from uh, trail craft to canoeing to, you know, knots, uh, you name it. Uh, it's probably in here. Uh, I, did, I have read this one cover to cover as well. I've had this one for quite a few years now. Uh, maps, snowshoe making, like I said, you name it, it's probably in here. How to make different clothing from uh, animal hides hats, footwear, the whole bit. Uh, definitely a, a good book if you can get your hands on one. <clears throat> this one here doesn't even have a name on the outside anyway. Pole Paddle and Portage is the name of it. Um, I actually borrowed this one from Tim Smith prior to my taking the, the uh, guide test and this was just more familiarization with you know canoeing techniques and that sort of stuff because there's a good bit of that covered on the guide exam that you have to know so uh, pretty good book uh, read quite a bit through here uh, not cover to cover but just a ton of information about canoes anatomy different paddles paddle techniques the whole bit so uh, again this one was pole paddle and portage and a uh, pr pretty good book Uh, the Trapper Bible, like I picked this one up online off of Amazon or something, by Dale Martin. Trap Snares and Path Guards. Uh, pretty basic, you know, if you've been doing this for a while, spring snares, stuff like that, deadfalls and that sort of thing. Um, wasn't overly impressed with it, to be honest with you, but it's a good basic uh, primitive trap book uh, if you're new to that type of thing. But, uh, Again, kind of cover stuff that I had already known, so it, it, just a, a refresher, I guess, a basic, basic book. Uh, field Guide, this is another Peterson's uh, To the Birds by Roger Troy Peterson. Uh, again, I've, I've only thumbed through this one a limited amount of times, honestly. And this one also was gifted to me by students, uh, both of these books. 
So I, I've just skimmed through it, checking some stuff out. Uh, and I don't have too much to say because I didn't, didn't get too in depth with that one. Some more first aid stuff here. Uh, this book, Wilderness First Aid, uh, it's the third edition, Emergency Care for Remote Locations. Uh, this book I actually used when I did my WFA cert. Um, so, a solid book, obviously. Uh, it's basic first aid, but you know there's there's a difference when you go from basic first aid when you know you're within an hour or so of a hospital, uh, and then outside that golden hour is when it becomes wilderness first aid, and though it it's still basic at times there's different protocols and different things you need to be concerned with uh, on actual treatment so uh, good book obviously the next one I have is uh, the Ranger medic handbook um, again just medical stuff not a big deal but being a military type book it's different than your standard you know basic first aid or first responder type stuff um, on, on treatment and what you would do in certain situations. <clears throat> Two books up here, uh, both by John McCann, Survival Resources, Build a Perfect Survival Kit, uh, excellent book uh, as all of his are. Uh, Stay Alive is another one I got from him, uh, again solid book, I've read both of these at least a couple times. Uh, while I was deployed actually and one of them was actually gifted to me by uh, a friend And then the last three that I have here Tales of the mountain men I picked this up at uh, My family and I were camping at a campground and this was in the, the little store They had and I was just looking for something to read actually. This is an extremely good book uh, so Tales of the Mountain Men, 17 Stories of Survival, Exploration, and Frontier Spirit, edited by, edited by Lamar Underwood. Um, you know, if you got a couple bucks and you can find one of these, I would, I would definitely recommend it. I thought it was a great book. <clears throat> I've read that. Next, Robert Rooks, The Old Man and the Boy. Uh, this was recommended to me by another friend I had. Um, this is a, a pretty good book and again I think I've talked about this one in that other video I did but it's not only a story book and I've read it cover to cover uh, twice now but there's takeaways you know if you, if you can read into it and and pay attention to the storyline that there's certainly takeaways where you can gain knowledge from it but uh, just a a pretty cool story and again I, I would recommend that if you have a couple bucks in the time time to read it I guess uh, probably by far my favorite book I've ever read and I was never a big reader uh, until I kind of got into the survival and bushcraft stuff uh, history I hated history throughout school with a passion I, I did well in it but I just never liked it but when it comes to the stuff that we do uh, it actually interests me a lot so uh, I've got a lot more into reading as you can tell and these type of books just catch my attention this one's actually tough to put down I just finished this book for the third time and I'll probably read it again before the winter's done but it's true north it's uh, a journey into unexplored wilderness uh, kind of a memoir by El Elliot Merrick who was basically a business type guy uh, from New York working for his father's firm and all this and uh, that's not what he wanted to do so he kind of picked up and moved to Labrador uh, so that's where the storyline takes place just an absolutely phenomenal book uh, again I've read it three times and we'll probably read it several more uh, in the future and probably once more before the winter is done but yep true north awesome book if there was one I could recommend out of, out of any this would be it without a doubt so a couple books you don't see here that were in that other video just off the top of my head I can't remember all of them but uh, 
Bushcraft by Morris Kahansky, read that thing cover to cover at least a couple times. Uh, obviously a good book, everyone knows about that. Uh, that one I gifted to a student not that long ago. Another one was Seed Time on the Cumberland by Harriet Simpson Arnau. That was a really good book. Uh, the storylines kind of, you know, the days of the frontier and that sort of thing. Periods of that book were very, very slow to me, but overall, definitely a good book, uh, and I'd recommend that one as well. So, there's the Woodsman Library again. Some new stuff, some stuff, you know, I, I kind of, I think, seed time on the Cumberland, I let someone borrow and never got it back, but it is what it is. I read that one cover to cover as well. Good book. And then the, the only other one, well, let me backtrack there so like I said I have four new books on the way I should have this week uh, when they come in and I read through them you know I'll share that with you in a future video and then the only other book that you don't see here is the good book uh, so the past five months ish uh, I've been studying the Bible and I don't show it here and I don't you know put that out in my videos because I'm not I'm not looking to you know get that demographic on my channel it's just not something I do uh, my relationship with what I believe in is that's the relationship so yeah I, I'm, I'm religious to a degree you could say but again I think that's a personal relationship between me and what I believe in and uh, I don't want to push that on you guys like I see some other people do so that's it like I said, as soon as uh, I get the other books and have a look at them, I'll shoot another update video and, and share that with you guys. Uh, from what I've read and what I've been told, they're going to be awesome books. I was actually only recommended one of them, but I got three others. They're all written by the same author, so you know we'll just see what happens with that. So thanks for joining me for this one, guys. I uh, appreciate you watching. appreciate your comments, and we'll see you soon with another.